Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about Star Wars plot holes. Yeah, there were a lot of them in The Rise of Skywalker. We're going to talk about the official explanation about how Palpatine survived his trip to the bottom of the bottomless pit on the Death Star 2. Basically, he didn't. Uh, he's a clone. Yes, he's a clone. Uh, this is coming from Disney because they couldn't think of anything else. You have to buy the book. You have to buy the book if you want to know what the deal is with Palpatine. So before you end of the video, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We're at almost 100,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Geeky is sick. She's sick tonight, so she's not going to be in the next video or two. Uh, hopefully, she'll be back with us tomorrow. This is coming from Screen Rant. Star Wars confirms Palpatine was a clone. A clone in the Rise of Skywalker. So does this mean that Rey is not the super Jedi after all? Because she she it took all of the Jedi and Rey to, to be the clone. A clone, they already did this. They did this in Dark Empire. Like freaking 30 years ago, Dark Horse did this story already and they did it a uh, hundred times better than the Rise of Skywalker. Uh, yeah, so apparently Lucasfilm, they couldn't think of anything better. They couldn't think of any other reason for Palpatine to be alive because he... He got thrown down the shaft and he freaking blew up. So we're just going to go with the clone. He's just a clone. It's Attack of the Clone. Uh, this is coming from Screen Rant. The novelization of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker finally reveals the truth about how Palpatine survived. He was a clone all along. Well, he's not a very good clone. He's in pretty bad shape. Uh, the novelization of Rise of Skywalker confirms Palpatine was a clone. The Disney era of Star Wars has frequently used novelizations to tie up loose ends from the films themselves. Let's, let's highlight this. The Disney era of Star Wars has frequently used novelizations to tie up loose ends from the films themselves. Yes, because Disney, Lucasfilm, Disney Star Wars is not good at giving the audience all the answers. No, no, no. They want you to go buy the book, the comic books, the video games, all the tie-in merchandise, uh, all of it. It's about that brand synergy. We've talked about that before. In the case of Rise of Skywalker, the film had a startling number of plot holes that writer Ray Carson will surely be hoping to navigate. You know, these kinds of answers, uh, most audiences expect these answers in the movie. In the movie, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, maybe if you guys had a plan, you wouldn't have to backpedal and try to fix the numerous plot holes in the Disney Star Wars movies with books. Because nobody's going to buy the damn book. Let's be honest. Nobody's going to buy the book. Marketing for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker had emphasized the unexpected return of Emperor Palpatine. And moviegoers were eager to learn how Darth Sidious had survived his death. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people were kind of wondering how that worked. Remarkably, the film avoided explaining it all. Remarkably, the film avoided explaining it all because I don't think they even knew when they filmed the damn movie. I don't think they knew. I don't. I, they clearly did not plan to use Palpatine. Uh, they had no idea. They're just like, yeah, yeah, he's back. Um, the Emperor hand waved the question away with the quote from Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some would consider unnatural like Disney's marketing machine. Uh, it's unnatural. It's generally been assumed that the novelization will shed a little more light on matters. Although the novelization isn't officially on sale until March 17th, um, Lucasfilm Publishing decided to sell advanced copies at this weekend C2E2 in Chicago. And people are starting to leak uh, what's going on here with this book. Are people actually going to buy this shit? The movie was uh, an underperformer. Oh, there's the uh, the stolen action figure artwork. Uh, there is is he a clone too? I guess um, this is this is such bullshit. Here's here's from the book. All the vials were empty of liquid save one, which was nearly depleted. Kylo peered closer. He'd seen this apparatus before too, and he'd studied the Clone Wars as a boy. The liquid flowing into this sounds this sounds like a fanfic. The liquid flowing into the living nightmare before him was fighting a losing battle to sustain the Emperor's putrid flesh. Wow. Uh, what could you give me, Kylo asked. Emperor Palpatine lived after a fashion, and Kylo could feel in his very bones that this clone body sheltered the Emperor's actual spirit. It was an imperfect vessel, though, unable to contain his immense power. It couldn't last much longer. He was too powerful for the clone body. This, this was done! This was done 30 years ago in the comics. 
and it was done better. And even then people had problems with them bringing the emperor back so easily as a clone, because if he can clone himself and his spirit can just jump from body to body, then even if you blow the body up, he could still be out there floating around somewhere. You know, uh, it's, it's stupid. It's just a stupid thing. Uh, yeah, there are striking similarities between Palpatine's canon resurrection and his return in the expanded universe. You know what? Disney decided they were going to burn the EU down, and now they're cherry-picking ideas from the EU. Uh, they're retconning things. Uh, they brought back Thrawn because he was a fan-pleasing character. They're probably going to uh, bring back Mara Jade to strip mine her, too. And now they're going to go back out and, and uh, strip mine Dark Horses. Uh, Dark Empire series, which really kind of, you know, after the Timothy Zahn novels, kicked off the expanded universe. And it was controversial back then. I remember people were like, there's no way in hell you could bring the Emperor back as a clone. And now they're doing it. So why did you get rid of the EU if you're just gonna, if you're just gonna rewrite it? It's so stupid. George Lucas loved it, though. He loved Dark Empire. He considered it the closest thing to his idea of a sequel trilogy and gave copies to Lucasfilm employees as a Christmas present. The key difference, however, is in Dark Empire, the clone body was actually able to contain the Emperor's spirit. Then, yeah, we had young Palpatine uh, fighting Luke and all that. It was actually, I thought it was pretty cool. I remember reading it when it came out. Uh, I was in high school, but I thought, it was, I thought it was pretty cool. So, here's the thing. Here's the problem, right? Uh, clearly, Lucasfilm, under Disney, doesn't have an effing clue what they're doing. I mean, they have to keep retconning everything. I mean, look, Forbes is calling them out. Months after release, this was just last week, months after release, The Rise of Skywalker is still trying to fix the plot holes. You know, this was, uh, you know, made the rounds with Elijah Wood. You know, they're talking about now how they're trying to fix all these plot holes. Um, official Star Wars account. Did you know about the Eternal Fleet? They're cultists from, from Exegol and Elijah Wood. Elijah Wood, blue check. No, how could we have known? I saw other ones floating around today talking about how the reason Ray knew everything is she had like a computer inside her at at Walker and she was like doing training and all this other bullshit. And that was, this is more retconning. It's just, it's so stupid. It's, you know, it's like, come on, Disney, you screwed up. You screwed up. Just forget it and move on. It, but they can't because uh, they think there's money to be made. But at this point, I think you've chased most of the uh, uh, most of the paying Star Wars customers away, at least with the sequel trilogy. Just, uh, you know, move on to something else, for God's sake. Nobody cares how the Emperor came back. Uh, nobody cares. The movie was a, a disaster. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Thinking about printing your own comic books, graphic novel, or manga? we recommend our friends over at Print Ninja. We've been using Print Ninja as long as they've been printing comics and both the quality and price is excellent. Mention Clownfish TV and get an additional 5% overrun of your book order quantity printed for free. For free! That's free books, people. Just mention this offer on the phone or in the additional information box on the quote request form. That's PrintNinja.com or click on the link in the description below. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.